Yeah, I remember. Time Mr. and Mrs. Dickens planted the first apple tree here at the Dickens Orchard. Mr. Dickens said he would press no cider before the fruit was ripened to absolute perfection. Then it happened. That old orchard yielded the juiciest, most delicious apples we ever did see. That was 50 years ago. That was the first time I ever had a Dickens cider. <laughs> I'll never forget that first Dickens cider. I was 17 and like Dorothy was 16. I think that was Dorothy's first dick insider, too. <laughs> I start every day with a dick insider. <laughs> At breakfast or later in the day, a dick insider is the perfect pick me up. My first dick insider? Geez, I remember hearing how great a dick insider was before I actually had one. It was an old friend that let me have a dick insider. I was so excited with anticipation, I spilled it all over me. <laughs> the other day, my husband's friend asked him why we both seem so healthy and happy all the time. He told him, easy, my wife doesn't let me go a day without a dick insider. <laughs> <laughs> and she enjoys the rejuvenating effects of a wholesome, delicious dick insider, too. Mm. Dick insider. Dick insider. Everybody loves a dick insider. From the famous Dickens Apple Orchards of Maine. Get that old-fashioned, down-home feel of a Dick Insider. <laughs> you can get a Dick Insider almost anywhere. <laughs> Just look for the label with the donkey on it, or as they say at the orchard up in Maine, the Dick Insider ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Dick Insider, from Dickens, a subsidiary of Good Swift.